All right, so here's the new solar system. So this is a solar inverter. We don't have any solar hooked up to it yet, but we do have a battery attached. You can see incoming on this is grid generator and then outgoing is load, which goes into this panel. This panel has pretty much every circuit in my house on it. We call it the critical loads panel. Down here, this is pretty nifty. So we can actually switch between raw utility power on the 125 amp breaker or inverter power on the 60 amp breaker. So we'd use this if something ever went wrong with the inverter and we just had to take power from the utility or if we were overloading the inverter on that 60 amp circuit and we needed to pull closer to 125 amps, we could do it there. This is a big lithium battery. This is a battery combiner, so we can hook up multiple lithium batteries at some point. This is the solar combiner, so that'll allow us to hook up multiple solar arrays. We don't have any solar going into the system right now. There's the screen right now, we're on grid power. We are sending about 4.75 kilowatts into the batteries and using about one kilowatt on the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and simulate what it would be like if the grid was to go down. So I'm gonna shut off this main breaker here. So I'll let you watch the light. You see, this is, so this is what a power outage would look like. You should only see a flicker. So now the grid power is off and this is what it would be like if we were experiencing a power outage. As you can see on the screen here, now the grid has gone yellow and we can see we're pulling from the battery to provide for the house. So now let's say our battery is starting to get dead. Maybe we've been out of power for this battery right here, this at a thousand watts, which is what our house pulls at idle. This will last about 12 to 15 hours. So now, this is the fun part of this. We have an, a generator hookup here and I already have the plug plugged into the generator. There's Eli, checking everything out. So we'll go over to the generator and start that up. Okay, so we got the generator running. So now let's go back over here. So now what happens is in about 30 seconds, so you can see the, the signal on, that means it's you can also hook this up to an automatic generator, so you can automatically start the generator when the battery gets below a certain percentage. Um, we just have a manual one here. The signal on means it's telling the generator it wants to start, but since we don't have an automatic start, I went out there and manually started it. So what we should see in about 30 seconds, after it detects clean power for 30 seconds from the generator, it will switch over on here and we should see this grid turn into a generator. So we saw a flicker. Now we're running on generator power and we're charging the batteries with the generator. So you can see we're pulling about 2.67 watts, kilowatts from the generator. And one, one of those is going to the house and one of those is going to the battery. And you can also control how much it pulls from the generator. So if you have a smaller generator, you can pull less. If you have a larger generator, you can pull more. And that's how it works.